Podcast like this. Check, check, check. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not now, you know, my dad. Man, hey, man. We got my guy here today, y'all. I ain't gonna play with y'all, man. This guy, hey, man, he family. This is the second time being on Boss Talk 101. He but in first Dallas time with in me. Studio. Yeah, man. Big Pub. Big Pub is in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. Big I'm, Pub, I'm, come I'm on, man. Here. Come on, man. You here, man. I'm here, man. Man, you, thank you. It's been a long time, man. We supposed mm -hmm. to, I supposed to be here first. Right. You know what I'm supposed to be here first. But, you know, y'all bless me with y'all presence, man. Man. I that. But a lot has changed since we last interviewed you. I want to tell you congratulations on your engagement. Thank oh, you. damn. Thank so you going to put him out there like that? Yeah. <laughs> the real, huh? Nigga don't supposed to be out there like that. He supposed to be like. Beautiful. He got a beautiful, he got a beautiful is a prime empress. piece of steak that we want to keep pedagling in front of the society's face. They ain't going to get it. But uh -huh, they can no, look uh -huh, at it. It's uh -huh. like a nice car. You uh -huh. can look at it. You just can't sit in it. No. <laughs> All over social media, he 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 does he's showing that love between him and his fiance. Oh right. dang! So yeah. he got it yeah. out there. He not okay. ashamed. He well, not yeah. hiding nothing. Yeah. yeah, man. I don't, I don't, I don't Let that no man hoes. speak for himself. No more hoes. Thank <laughs> you, thank you. I, I love the way how you put it out there. Yeah. Wow. Definitely, definitely. I mean, I'm not scared. I'm not. You know, ashamed of anything. You know, what yeah. Saying? People don't know I'm married. They don't know. They don't know. Mm -hmm. Damn me, come on. No, I didn't man. know. You got one of the biggest podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but man. you know, the surprising thing, you have people in the comment be like, "Is that his wife?" I'm like, "How can you not know?" We say that every single time on the show. They, like, right. they, they always got a, they got a right to dream. Right, well, leave yeah. it alone You know Y'all let that You yeah, know Nigga got all dream. these muscles On here like this You know Nigga feel real good About it You know I'm working out again uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They don't know They can't see the stomach Don't lie no, no. <laughs> Don't lie so man, what's up, man? Man, I, I'm just I'm living, man. I'm blessed right now. Man, man I sure. I came to Houston a couple of times on an interview. You know I've been down there because I, I told yeah. you I was coming. Yeah. I ain't been able to get back over that evening. Got me busy. Yeah, man, that's good. You been seeing me working, good, but we always working. talking about you though. We every all, time, every time we come to Houston, we're like y'all don't know Big Pop. I tell everybody that I'll be like, yeah, that's my guy. You know, yeah, I'm yeah. checking and in. In our, in our mind, we like everybody should know you. Yeah, but yeah, they be yeah. like, no, I ain't heard about him. And, and that's the thing, cause I like to be, I like to be like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, when people is too popular, I know important people. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the people you might have, I might have know the people that's important to them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I'm saying? exactly what it is. And, and you know, that's kind of why I like to keep it. I don't want to be the popular person. Mm -hmm. I just want to be the person that's. No, I agree you know, with that. I don't want, I don't want everybody yeah. to be running up on you all the time, or you got to always feel. Me and my lady can come out and then got to worry about that. Now, right. Me and you, we get out, new looking. Ain't that boss talk? All that nigga don't want that all the time either. Right, right, right. But it's hard to get away from it though when you getting behind these cameras every day. Right. Well, you being seen. And yeah. Then, mm -hmm. For that, for me. You know, that's why I didn't want to be such an artist. I want yeah. to be more of an exec, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I could be away from the cameras, away from the mic, away from, you know, all the people all the time. You but you own saying? a label, though, man. You yeah. own a whole label. Like, like, how is it being in Houston? Because you got you, you got, I think, about 1501. I think about... Uh, you, 1501, rap a lot. Who else am I forgetting? Rap a lot. We got loud music. Loud there, music. So we got... Uh, who else? You said 1501. We got UBK out there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's, it's quite a few labels that's that's moving. You know and that's so crazy because then I'm there's an artist had um, DM me because I guess he wanted to come to Dallas and be like, um, what are the labels that y'all have in Dallas? It and was I had one. to I remember that. and I had to research. I'm like, because you know Houston have so many labels out there, but I had to really research to see what labels are out here in Dallas. I know there's studios. Right, there's a lot of studios. But I'm talking about labels, yeah. and I'm like. I know um, Say Cheese just did a, a label recently. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He just did. Um, and I'm big. like, That's okay. Big. That's big. And I'm okay, but I don't know about any. Uh, do you know about any labels as out here? As far as labels out here, no. I've been coming to Dallas for a long time, probably since 01. And the whole time I've been out here, I've never known labels. It's just artists. That's making moves. Right. It's a lot of artists. Though. How? You know why? But how hard is it to just do a label? Why is that so? Well, I think. Well, with most artists, they're seeing that it's better to be independent, so they go on the solo route now. Mm -hmm. But me, as an as a former artist, 
I found that it was also better to be an independent label mm-hmm. if you know how to do it. You know what I mean? So it's having an independent platform for independent artists, mm-hmm. it just made it better that way you still operate as a label, not so much as a major, but you operate as a label and all the money still stays in house. I like how you said you know that. I, you said you said an in a uh, label for independent artists. Right. So it's not that they they still sign to you. Yeah. But they're still independent. It's is we still as a label we're independent, and I give them the freedom to do things. Like it's not okay. You can't do this, this, that, and the third because you're under me. Man, go get your money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Go get your money. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like I'm not I'm not trying to hold nothing, but whatever I put in. I want to get back. Okay, you just you know got a percentage saying? of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Which I, makes sense, I allowed, and that's fair. Right, right. And boy, that's what labels don't do, though. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? See, I allow my artists to eat while I recoup. Most labels, you're going to wait till they recoup, and then you start to eat. Mm. So it's, it's, I just do it because I'm, 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 I was an artist first, so I want to do it a fair way. A more way that's more fair. So. What came to my mind, because uh, out of curiosity, um, when you have a business and your business is thriving, you think about doing multiple locations. Is that the same thing that you can do with a label? Because then, like, you have your label over there in Houston. Maybe you wanted to open another one, maybe even under the same name, whatever, and have it in Dallas that, you know, if anybody wanted to do something in Dallas, you are also here. So you right. sort of, not say corner the market, but you, you, you well, know, how does that I, I work? Would say, I would say if I was to do something that way, it wouldn't be to open it because the label would be universal. Where anyway, that's mm-hmm. right. So I would say just more open a headquarters here mm-hmm. in Dallas. So I have one in Houston. I have one in Dallas. I may yeah. have one in Austin. Or you know that way, artists that's here, right? You know what I'm saying can work. If we have artists that's in Dallas, you know what I'm saying. I sign an artist in Dallas or do exclusive deals with artists that's maybe out here that want to do that because most artists out here don't want to. They don't want to be with a label or they want to be with a big label. Or stay independent. Would that be something that you'd want to do, not specifically in Dallas, but you know, other places that you see where I'm, the need is? I'm always willing to expand. You, okay. but, but you in Houston, Dallas is right up the street. I don't see no. I don't think that would be a wise decision. Well, to do that, no. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. But that's why I said not. It's particular in, in Dallas, Dallas, but yeah. somewhere that you see yeah. the need. Uh, L. A. L. A. There right. you go. That's yeah, what yeah. I'm talking. Yeah. And, but you are you special because at the end of the day, you know, you guys have made a move down there. Uh, you guys are one of those one of those teams that people are looking at. You know what I mean when right. they come to when it come to I want to make it in music that you right. you one of those guys man how do you keep those guys you know developing in the right direction uh dealing with different artists people who are from green to people who come in with bad habits how do you deal with that man it's 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 management you know what i'm saying like you have to know people and i do have a uh a, a psychology i did study that in school so okay i do it, it helps me with that you okay know what I'm saying? because to know how people think and why they're thinking it that can help you when you, you know what I'm saying, dealing with those people. And being yeah. so young, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, How do you balance um, work with personal life? Balance it? That's the key. It's to balance it. Like, it's it's got to be a balance. How do you do that? It's just got to be, <laughs> it's got to be a balance. So, so how is more so I keep my personal life out of my business life. And, the reason I do that is because when what happens is a lot of people start watching what you do personally and start to feel like, okay, maybe I should be doing that. Or maybe, and these we're talking about artists and people that's not artists. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to make sure people know their role. You know what I'm saying? If you have, if you're an artist and this is what you do, or you're a staff member and this is what you do, I make sure that they are compensated in their area. But... Don't watch my area. You know what I'm saying? Because my area is, I don't just do music. I do everything else. So a lot of people get to watching what you have. And it's like, okay, well, start watching Pockets. You know what I'm saying? And that's the worst thing. you Pocket watch. Yeah, you don't want that. You know do what I'm you, saying? But you the boss. How they, can watch, they can't watch your pocket. Right. They, like, we can say that. But they can come up they, with they some scenario do. in their you head. Know yeah, it's always a but, scenario. So but you, you also said that you um, keep your personal life personal and your business life 
business. But how do you do that when you have a fiance that's in the business? Well, see that that is my business, <laughs> 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 and that's that's personal. But uh, the thing is, is that you know, with 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 that, it's like this is this is a family business. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We, we can we can do that. But it's more so of just friends knowing what I do personally. Now we got to keep that set. Okay. How Dougie D doing down there, man? Man, Dougie good. And my man. nigga now, man. I, do, I listen to that freestyle about thirty times, but I think I'm so used to when I put that on, don't I? She be like, yeah. "This nigga crazy." Yeah, I put Dougie. that on. That nigga gave me a freestyle in that old Dougie Wild, wow, man. That's, 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 that's my brother, man. He, he work he, out a lot. Yeah, yeah. He 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 not gonna stop. He not gonna stop. He not gonna stop, man. Dougie Dougie's one thing about Dougie, and I love my brother to death. He's loyal as they come. Yeah, I can see that. You know what I'm saying? He's I think I've seen it with come. Trey. Mm -hmm. Him yeah. and Trey hanging yeah, out. Trey. Of. You know, you know, they from the group. Grew yeah. Them up. yeah. It was him, Zero, and Trey to start yeah. out here. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he rock with Trey tough a lot. You, know you got to help me get Zero on this show one yeah. day, man. Yeah, he, he'll be out here. He I, out I, heard, I got when, a lot of people that just when? told me, like, uh-oh. When he oh, oh. I mean... <laughs> I can't tell you when he's coming. But, no, there's you know, a lot of people we, been asking for him on the show. Yeah, yeah because yeah. we'd be on live, and you know, we always ask people like, um, "Who do you want to see on our show?" Yeah, he one of them. I don't and know why. Zero name keep they popping up every I mean, single if, time. If you in Texas, that's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Every Especially single time. They love yeah, him. And Dallas love him. So, yeah. so you hear that, Zero? You are in big demand by our viewers. They want you on I our show. I talked to a couple of people that can get him. I, I just ain't pursued it like I know I yeah, can. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, I like, mean, you know, I, we, I can reach. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I but it's up to him to really yeah, yeah. I really, that's why I ain't reached. Because I'm the type of dude, like, if, like Power Off, I was this other day. Like, certain people just tapping in as we go. We keep yeah, working. Man, I, I let my work. I let my work. Thank, thank you, man. I let my work do the talking. That's, that's what I look at. Yeah. But you know what, too? Okay, this is me hypothetically speaking. Because I love to put myself in other people's, you know, position. Right. And when I think about if I was in their position, us being new, as in, we've been doing this a year and a little bit. Yeah, but we passing I niggas up. See, Stop playing. Yeah, we have right, been right. passing a lot of a lot of people up, but I want to see consistent because so many people get in this game and then fall out or right, fall off. Fall out, right. And I don't want to put my, my, my brand or my name on somebody show who's not going to be here, who's going to fall off. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. So I want to see consistency. I want to see you keep grinding. I want to see you before I just say, okay, I'm going. Nigga, first. please. I done did. That's I done me. did That's Houston me. twice. That's Atlanta me personally. twice. Right. That's LA me personally. twice. <laughs> Vegas twice. Nigga, I put that money up. Stop playing. And the thing is, is <laughs> I, I get that. You right. Right. In, 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 in cases, people want to see they don't want to waste their time. Time. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And, but you have to look at the consistency. That Talk about it. Talk at. about it. You have to look at who y'all already interviewed. Talk about no, it. No, I know that you know because when I, I see them, because what hurt me, and this is just, again, me speaking, is just when us. I see. Remember that. Yeah, just yeah. me. <laughs> um, when I see some people go on some other podcasts who I know that visuals is not as good as ours, That's mm -hmm. who um, audio is not as great as ours, and I'm like, okay, you go on theirs, but you ain't come on ours yet. Nigga, that caught they out of touch with reality. We finna take this whole over, nigga. You know? <laughs> like we know that's gonna happen. Oh, it's hard to beat the visual. We gotta work. Just keep keep going. We gonna they, keep going. We got they, big pup, they nigga. Gonna come, they gonna come to you. Mm -hmm. They gonna come to you. You ain't gonna have to reach to them. They gonna come to you. Cause you know we have God in our corner, so we ain't worried about nothing. We got oh, yeah, big pup too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for always rocking with hey, us, man. man. I appreciate you, man. man. Listen, man. I, when you hit me up, you don't know. If I don't say that I'm busy, but nigga, I'll be like, man, that's my guy. Like, you give hey, me inspiration. Yeah, I know your heart, man. Thank you, you man. Know what I'm so it, it ain't never what your action is with me. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Because yeah. your actions are always solid. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, but I know your heart, man. You good people. So. Man, I'm trying. I'm trying every yeah. time. Every I, day I wake this, up. This is the thing. I know. I know. What we've been through, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. What we come from, yeah, and know where we going already. You know what I'm saying how much we've sacrificed and changed to be what we are. Today. Man, come on now. So yeah, man, it ain't no ever, ever gonna be no problems. <laughs> <laughs> so I got you. a question. So, um, since it's been a year since you've been on here, mm -hmm. have you added any additional people to your label? To the label. Oh, my other than other that's a than, big move. Yeah, what you talking about? Yeah. Nah, no, I haven't added anybody else. Okay. Um, but we've we I've added new ventures, so now I'm I'm going into producing movies. So Dog Vision Films is 
is my next endeavor. Dope. So when you yeah. have a label, you can branch off that label into any. So you do mu- yeah. uh, movies. You can do movies under your label. I can do well. Yeah, the good part. How about, does that work? The That's good part about it is well, not necessarily under the label because it's a whole entity. That's what I was wondering. Entity, but it's a, it's it's our partner. It's our partner. But the thing is, is that with me doing movies, I can use my own music in these movies. That's right. dope. You That's know? dope. So all the sync licensing and everything, I make sure my artists eat through movies. I make sure you know everybody can eat through movies. Even putting them in this acting, I can make sure she eat through movies. You know what I'm saying? And she she know everybody. So that's smart. It's, it's it's about just pulling all the resources that's together. That's a new venture now. I ha- I see a lot of artists and a lot of people going to is the film industry right film. now. A lot of people are writing their own film. That's why I asked her about, you know, right. doing her own, you know, writing right, about yeah. her own movie and stuff right. like that. Because yeah. it only makes sense. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, and, I put a team together of, of of directors and you know, I'm just I'm just going in and buying equipment like the real cinematography equipment mm-hmm. and you know stuff like that. So we're putting we we got writers, we got directors, we got we got everything we need really. You know, so it's just, we 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 starting now. We putting the movies together. Have you um, hired somebody for acting lessons? Acting lessons, no, no. But I know a lot of actors. So because that's what a lot of people do when they're trying um, producers mm-hmm. when they're um, getting. People to do um, autobiographies or not, um, just any acting, they send them to acting school. Right. So instead of sending them to acting school, if you get like acting lessons, somebody to just yeah. teach them, you know, yeah. some yeah. things. I mean, they can, can cut the middleman. Let me just kind of keep things. Let me yeah, right. let me tell you how I feel. Okay. Yeah, I'm breaking back in this thing, <laughs> bro. When Country Wayne, Mike Anthony came on here and told me they make $400,000 a month on skits, nigga, I just think Hollywood is different now. I think there's a way to make this thing pop and quit waiting on the different ways that they used to do it. With the technology that we have at our fingertips today, you can create a movement without even anybody's even authoritative way. You gotta make the people believe in you more more than just the industry. It right. need to be the people because it's more of a direct to consumer right, right. environment that we're living in. Am yeah. I right? Right, and I'm more of a DIY guy myself. So, there it is. You know what I'm so when I come to put, putting all this together, I'm not I'm not leaning on anybody else. Yeah. to make this jump. You know what I'm saying? Because I've always put my own into it to make my own movement. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. So when it comes to the movies. Yeah, we gonna do skits. Everything we need. Everything. To, especially when it comes to promoting. The product. I'm doing something today. Yeah. I've been working. For, I'm working. I got a whole nother channel that fit a, and, and it hold hard. Yeah. And I'm, it's going to be like a, a like a production type f- deal. Boss Talk 101 Prime. Time to let you niggas in on it. And uh, <laughs> and it's it, it, and you can look it up. It's already something you can go look up. Mm-hmm. It's 38,000 subscribers. It's ready. It's bubbling. It's ready to go. I'm just waiting to launch it to build up enough content right. I got the people working already we've been working for months and when it come it's coming like a whole network it's not gonna be playing yeah, so I, I, and it's and it's it's underground but when them niggas told me what these kids doing nigga yeah. I'm forget this money man it's and, easy and, and nigga not, not to mention too though like we have direct access to you know the the streaming platforms the Dope. Netflix is the two B oh you already got through it we already in there because I'm partnering with a distribution company Southwest Digital shout out to them that already has that ties in we oh, good man, man good. thank you man so man there's a lot going on in Houston I'm not gonna get into the politics of Houston uh, mm-hmm. we had Lil Kiki on here uh, I seen that we had a uh, uh, ESG on here. Who else we done had? A bunch of them. We had uh, a yeah. Southwood winning on here. We done had a bunch Have of them. Have you win- ever done work with ESG? I did. At ESG's on um, an album I dropped in 2014. Okay. My, my Life, Your Entertainment. Yeah. Dope, dope. Yeah, I got a track with you for sure. You're real cool, dude. He, yeah. He good people. Yeah, I, good people. I love the way the music, man, I love the way it comes from Houston. Y'all got a sound over there, man. That I mean, we had DJ Chose on here. Chose, you know, we done yeah. had some We had some dope. Hey, my boy, man, don't stop playing, man. You can't say all that without saying Black Card Steve Vo, that's my guy. So, like, <laughs> yeah. everybody that come through always been showing us love. I get a lot of love from H Town, man. Yeah, I mean, real talk. Yeah. And, that, and that's good. That's, But it's deserved, though. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. man. They, you can't not love me, man, when you got a hard <laughs> life. Thank you, man. So, so yeah. uh, you coming back? 
Yeah. yeah anytime. Yeah. Anytime. I can yeah. pull up. Yeah. I you seen, can pull up. I seen a podcast or something down there in y'all place after I left. What yeah. was yeah. I, was I got jealous as hell. Yeah, I said, good. what the hell going on down same, there? Hold up, hold up. In the same spot that we did. I was mad. I was mad. We had a different backdrop and everything. But yeah, yeah. It was yours? Yeah, no, it's 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 one of my artists. It was both of my artists. That's Big Fats and D Black. They need to keep that going. We were happy about it. We were happy. We got two episodes They got to keep that going. We 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 really revamping the whole content. Because, you know, what they do... They like battle rapping and boxing. Oh, you know so they, that's dope? So that's what they, because it's called Here's the Thing. Okay. That's the name of the podcast, Here's the Thing. Because, <clears throat> excuse me, D Black, oh, when he talks, that's the first thing he say, especially when he's debating. He go, Here's the Thing. Oh, so that's dope. You know, so we named it after that. And Why you didn't send him up here to be on my show so I could help promote it? Or if there's I, anything, or if there's any advice or whatever that they need, anything, I, I'm here. We're here. I know that. And that's why I love <laughs> you. Man. You know what I'm saying? But I'll, I'll definitely, I'll definitely, you know. What you say is happening uh, yeah. in real time, nigga. Like, like, <laughs> like you said, eat. What are you gonna do? I'm like, yeah, send yeah, them on. I got you. As long as I'm here, you. and in town, the Lord say the same. It's going down like that, man. I love to look. I was looking. I'm like, what the hell going on? They got something going. Yeah, I ain't getting yeah. no call, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> nah, I, I gotta get. I gotta get you down, or I can. I can come. Down. I, can send them up. I actually got to come down. I got a couple we of things. Go, going. Yeah, we got some stuff working. Yeah, man, come, yeah. come out with me. I just got a new house. You know what I'm saying? What? Yeah, that boy, they're kicking I'll it, man. You, I tell you off camera where it's at. Oh yeah, hell yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. No, yeah. I saw no. the picture. You posted the picture on Instagram. That ain't post yeah. where it was at. Yeah. It looks really <laughs> good. <laughs> I know, but it looks good though. I it's, like the way. I'm Congrats, happy, man. man. She makes it a home. That's what I love. Man, uh, that's dope. So hold on. So when is the big date? It's 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 November 11. 2023 though next year next okay year, yeah. cool so you already doing the arrangements and everything you picking yeah. the dress out yet she got screenshots of everything everywhere how she want to do it, do she, it. She, okay. she does then like she likes to decorate yeah and so our invitations gonna be in the mail in hell the yeah mail. we coming they gonna be in the mail in your email <laughs> <and> your <phone. laughs> we gonna be there man Lord say the same so, man so say man I, hey man thank you for coming on did we forget anything cause mm -hmm. I had to get him in and out of here pretty quick today yeah. But he coming, he family, so I, I'm, I'm small. You, know you know I'm coming back. Man, man anytime you got an artist or something that you want us to interview or anybody that you got coming to Dallas, or if, if I'm in Houston, man, pull up, man. We're going to do this, man. That's what we're here you. for. I got you. I appreciate it. Man, that. thank you so much, man. Love you, man. I love you, bro. Yes, sir, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. We out.